at this part, we talk about some exercise 4.12 that you can find in your textbook page 104. So um, now we see is a special, is a next uh, condition statements, right? Next, because a lot, a lot of if, worth if, right? But pay attention, the else is aligned to the second if, right? So the else is for less part. So it means when the else acts, when the first if not satisfied, you directly have no any other result. If the first if do not satisfy, I mean, not true, when the result is false, it will have no the other result. But the situation is more complicated because, uh, because uh, we have the Y here and the Z here, the Y and Z have to be, you know, have the value under the condition, which is X is larger than two. So assuming that X is two, Y is four, display the output of the following code. Okay, S is two. So the result, there is no, there is no two, right? Because X have to larger than two can be equal to. So they will have no print anything. Yeah, yeah, no print anything. Yeah. And uh, what if X equal three and Y equal two? Okay, X, when X equal three, that is satisfy the first statement, right? And they were going to the next, this part. Then Y not equal to. Well, y equal to, but not larger than two. So you would directly go to this part. So it will print x is three in this line. Okay, x is three. But in the situation here, x equal three, then you will, you know, true and move into the second condition statement. And we find y equal three. Okay, so it satisfies the second condition statements so we're going to this part z z equal the x plus y so the x is three and the y is also three so z here is six right so we can see the result the first situation x equal two y equal four yeah so no result displayed no result displayed because there is no else here and the first, uh, the other one, okay, x equal three, y equal two, the x is three, because we move into this part. When x is equal three and y equal three, the z will be six, because z is x plus y, okay? So we also need some debugging, yeah, debugging questions. What is wrong with the following code? Please point out the problem and fix it. If the score larger than equal 16, the grade will become D, right? And else if score larger than 70, the grade the grades will equal C, right? Yeah. What is the problem? Can you find it? Uh, for example, when I when I 90, the score is 90. I put input the score is 90. Then I find it's larger than 60, but I will get the grade D. So it's a problem. I input the score 90, but according to sequence, the else if 90 is put to the, you know, the last one. So it will not go into this part. It will directly go to the first part. So what's the problem? So the problem, you have to do that according to the highest standard, then goes down, go through down. So we have to change it that way. Correction. If the score larger than and equal than 90, then you will get A. So we will cut the part larger than 90. And the other part is smaller than 90. And the other part we can find if he also satisfied the 80. So it satisfied the 80, we will get a B. So B will, you know, falling down between the 90 until until not equal to, uh, we will from the 80, but not equal to 90. So actually we make the highest number here to make sure, to make sure only A can get, only A, the score can get A, and the A should satisfy the score. Then the second else if means 
it will cut whether the num the score is slower than 90 and larger than 80. So the logic could be the correct. So please, this should be ordered, but from the highest first. And then if not satisfy this part, they will fall into the grade, I mean else part, grade equal F. Okay, so remember, we will start from the highest until the, the lowest, because the logic is A have to be the highest, okay? But if you use the score larger than equal 90, you will make the, the others cannot get their result. It will just fall into D, okay? Okay, so uh, we will talk about next part, 4.8 common mistake in choosing statements. So sometimes we will have some mistake. I will show you some mistake. You can try it, okay? Okay, common mistake in choosing statements are generally caused by the incorrect identification. What is identification? Uh, because you, you have something, you know, design logic is wrong. For example, we can see the figure A and figure B. What is the differences? Okay, obviously the print here is aligned to if. And the print here is, you know, belong to if. Means when the if brings expressions true, then we will print. Otherwise, we don't print. But why it is wrong, it is correct. What is the differences? Yes, please pay attention. When I give you the radius is minus 20, and if radius is larger than equal than zero, then we will compute the area. It's totally, you know, we talk about that. But the print, the print have to align the station, the uh, align the statements. Why? Because when you print align the if, it means whether the if is successful, we still have to print. We still have to print. But in logically, it's totally true. We can still print. But here is the problem. Because when you print area, when you print area, the area just only appear, appear and be produced under the if statements is correct. I mean, it's true. When the correction, uh, when the statements is correct, true, I mean, true, then the area could be compute, right? But if you jump this part, you jump this part, for example, radius is minus 20, you jump this part and you ask the print function to print, what is the area? The, the, the result will tell you, I don't know the area. So you will reply the syntax error, but it's certain kind of a runtime error because, because when you ask, when the system educate that part, they didn't know your radius is minus 20. So he didn't know. So the correct answer should be this way. When the radius is really larger than larger than and equal than zero, then you can have the real area here. So the statements, of course, it's just a shorten spaces. I mean, make the print, you know, uh, under the conditions of if, then it will success. But it's just a little difference make the the program pro program totally can execute execute or wrong. Okay, here, if the radius is not fixed, yes. Okay, also can be fixed. Minus 20, right? And then we we told that if radius larger or equal than 20, as it no, sorry, zero, then we will compute the area. The hour area will equal the radius, multiply the radius, multiply the mass dot pi. Okay, because we use the mass dot pi, so we need we need to import mass. Yeah. And we will print the result. The area or radius yeah it's your radius radius is area yeah but 
the situation is we put print here. We will see what's the result. Okay. Maybe we put it as number three. Syntax error. Why? Because he told us the name area is not defined. Why is it not defined? Because it can be go to this part. Yeah, the radius is minus 20. But if you put it as, a, you know, EVL, because it's fixed, you, you totally understand it's correct. But when I do that, it will just like a runtime error. Please, please enter the radius equal. Yeah, first time I will let you let it success. You see, you can, it is not at a lot, it's not the syntax error because he doesn't know the radius yet. So here I will give the correct answer, positive, then we will get a result. So it seems like this program is totally no problem, but actually he had problem because when I provide the minus value here, for example, give the minus 10, you will have problems. So this kind of situation is very, very serious because sometimes you use some test value, the, 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 the syntax is no error. It can also get the logic correct answer, but the problem is when you, when you give the different test value, it will have some, it will happen some, you know, unpredictable, unpredictable error. So when you design a program, you have to consider that part so if you use the spaces i mean tap you will have four spaces here shorten here shorten this code and make it under the if condition when the if condition statement is true then you print it and then no matter the result is it is any it which one if now we get the minus 10 it will have no any other error okay it's still correct understand so that's the differences because you have some variable under the condition uh, condition statements. You have to pay attention when you print it. When you print it, it you have to make sure the var the variable have already be defined or give the value. Otherwise, the system will tell you it's not defined. Okay. Okay. Is your turn? Try it. Okay, so now we will also talk about some situation if and else match in pairs. Yeah, uh, we, we also told that the if else should be pair. When your else align to the first if, then your, your pair is just a pair. When it means when you satisfy this, then you will go down. When do not satisfy this, you will go to direct the else, right? So it's also just the position different, but the meaning total different because Python is different from the previous language. It's designed more easier. So if we do not use the you know parentheses to express some relationship, we just use the align. So the align have to be correctly, precisely, and pay attention. So when you're as else align to the second if. It means this else is the pair of the second if. So it will just work for the if when the second if is not satisfied, then we're going to this else. Okay. So we can see check what's the result to be different from the two exam. Uh, first, i equal to one and j equal to k equal three if the i larger than j i larger than j is the true no i didn't do not larger than k then, then j so it would directly go uh, goes to this part print b okay it would directly go to print b yeah but in this situation i equal one j equal two k equal three totally the same but if i larger than j I larger than J because it's not satisfied. So it totally do not have any reflection because we do not have the, the you know, pair 
else for this first if. So when the if is not satisfied, the result, there is totally no result. Okay, so then they will let you see what the difference is. The pair, the pair, you have to pay attention. The else have to align which if you want to be paired. So it's in pairs, okay? When the position different, the result will totally different, okay?